Hey, welcome to Zach Tech Turf. Recording your PC gameplay may seem like a daunting task for some. It's actually really easy if you're on Team Green and own an NVIDIA GPU. Today we are going to show how easy it can be to record your epic gaming montage with NVIDIA's Shadow Play. Shadow Play is what I personally use to record my Lenovo Y50 gaming benchmark video currently linked on the screen and I believe it's currently the best way to record. Let's get into it. Before diving straight into the tutorial, let's make sure that you meet the requirements for NVIDIA Shadow Play. First, you will need to install NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This is linked in the description right below that like button, which I would love for you to tap for me. Once you have GeForce Experience installed, you're going to need an updated graphics card to use Shadow Play. NVIDIA lists on their website that you must have a 900, 700, 600, 900 mobile, 800 mobile, 700 mobile, or select 600 mobile series graphics card. Some of these cards were released all the way back in 2012, so I hope that you have a card on this list. There are other basic system requirements that are needed, but I'm pretty sure that if you're interested in recording your PC gameplay, then your system will meet these requirements. Okay, now it's time to dive into the tutorial part. Open up GeForce Experience and click the Shadow Play icon in the top right corner. Important to note, sometimes this icon will not be available if you do not have an active internet connection. Once Shadow Play opens, you'll first see the on-off toggle switch. Toggle it up and the green light will come on, and now you'll be able to change the different settings. There are essentially two different ways that Shadow Play can record. Manual mode is using a hotkey, default Alt F9, to manually stop and start the recording. Shadow mode is basically an always recording feature, and when you press Alt F10, you save the last 1-20 to 20 minutes based on your choosing. The next two settings are quality and audio, which allow you to change the quality of the recording as well as the audio sources that are recorded. Under the toggle switch, you can click the folder icon to go directly to where your recording will be saved. Shadow Play will automatically save your recordings in folders named after the game you're playing, which is a really nice feature. Next to that is the settings option, which lets you get deeper into the settings of the program. This is where you can change your hotkeys, recording locations, and other options. Well, that's basically all you need to know about using Shadow Play. I personally love recording with Shadow Play because all I have to do is open it up and press Alt F10 in Shadow Mode to save the last 20 minutes of footage. This is perfect because I don't have to manually start and stop my recording, and it breaks the files up into smaller 20 minute sections. The quality is exactly what I want and the program is super lightweight and I can't notice any drop frames when recording. I highly recommend using Shadow Play if you have an NVIDIA card. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zex Tech Turf videos.